So today the gang is uh, going to load up and go into Quartzsite. We got one, two, three, four, five bottles of propane. Say hi, Kim. Hey, we're down. So we're going to the big town of Quartzsite. Deb's got a little shopping to do. Got to go to the post office. Send out some mail. So we're going to fill up the propane. We got rain coming in tomorrow, so it might get cloudy. And they need a little heat. I think it's supposed to get down to almost 40. But we can deal with that. A beautiful sunset last night. And a gorgeous day out here. Some nice light breeze. Well, let's go get propane. We'll show you where we get propane in Quartzsite. come in and do a little shopping today. My sister is looking for some LED bulbs and a walking stick and a couple other items. Uh, Shirley needs to go to the post office, send out some stuff. Uh, we need to go get propane of course. So you can see there's still a few places open down here in Quartzsite uh, off of Hewitt. There's a lot of them that have left. Now the ones up here close to Cuba, you know, they're still here and open. You can basically get whatever you want, but I think you're going to pay a little bit more for it this time of year. And uh, because everybody's gone after the Big Ten and the gym show. But, uh, yeah, just making another day out, getting out of camp. Give you a look around. Flags are flying. Flags means that they're open. They don't have flags on it, that means they're closed. So let's go do some more shopping in Quartzsite. Stop the madness, start the adventure. Now it looks like the girls are picking them up, an extra pair of sunglasses. It's always nice to have an extra pair. Yes, get exactly. dropped and scratched in the desert. You know, I mean, at that These point, are pretty cheap. They're lookalikes. You know, um, but hey, as long yes, as they work. It does. And people, you know, I'm from a huge so I know it gets down. Well, I go north. Yeah, what do you think, Kim? Well, Talk you. to us, Kim. I don't know which one you say. I'm not buying nothing. Uh, <laughs> we've bought everything we need to buy already. That's right. Oh, there's a stitch. All right. Yep. Now Deb's going to go over and get you a stick. But if you don't have it, you'll be able to find it in Quartzsite. And probably some stuff that uh, you don't want, you'll get anyway too. But you never know what you're going to need. And they're starting to drop prices, so they're discounting their chairs, their mats. And you can also haggle with them a little bit too. And I'll give you this for that. Fifty cents for a hat. Almost free. Sandals, flip flops. Some dogs. Scorpions and uh, rattlesnakes will be out shortly, so that's one of the reasons why Deb's getting a stick. You kind of want to carry one just in case you're walking down by one of the washes or whatever. But you can see out back, see, it's only like one row in. But all this area, all back in here, was full of tents. Now it's turned back to the RV park that it once was. The wind's blowing pretty good right now. I hope this wind muff's doing all right. 
but every one of these had a tent in it or were selling something lawn creatures and leather goods food it's just amazing how many people pack up and go to the next big event but there's a few staying here, especially people from the northeast or the north that just have to sit inside the house. Anyway, some of these vendors, this lady right here with the sunglasses up there, she was from Cape Cod. So uh, she said, why should I go back? I'll stay here for another 30 days. Makes sense to me. <laughs> All right, well, we're here in Quartzsite. This is where we get our propane, RV Pit Stop. It's on the north side of town, right off 95. It's propane here, they can fill them really fast. They got a dump station. They can also uh, get your water here. Dump these as of this. For Blue Boys, porta potties are five hours. Campers, trailers are 10. So, this is why, one of the reasons why we pay uh, for the uh, long term because every time you want to dump or got to get water it's going to be $15 or more so eventually you're going to end up spending a lot of money but for the whole year that's what we do but anyway we're getting ready to uh, leave Quartzsite so we're going to fill up all our propane bottles eat at Silly Al's one more time and then we headed north They fill them really fast here. They got driver's side or passenger side, doesn't matter. They got four stations here just to fill propane. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna come out on the GoPro, but the winds are blowing, they got the muff on. But another great, beautiful sunset in Quartzsite. We're watching it live with the Nomadic Ramblers, and it's just beautiful. I mean, it's just beautiful. Look at the reflection in the windows. My phone takes fabulous pictures, but that is something to be seen. If you ever get a chance, come to Quartzsite in the winter. You'll see this all the time. Stop the madness, start the adventure. Well, hello again, everybody. Hey, how are you? We've been sitting in Quartzsite for what, over two weeks? I At think this one place. This is the longest we've ever sat in one place uh, and never went and got water or emptied no. the black tank. So I think we did really good. I think it maybe be 13 days, something like that. Um, so we did really good on conserving our water and, uh, and watching the flushes on the uh, black tank. So I think we did really good. We're on E on water. I don't know how much we have left, but we're not completely out. So I think we did very good. Tank's pretty full, though. <laughs> and this is not, this is not even our big rig, so I think we got what maybe 50 gallons on this one. So I think we did very good. Of course, we used bottled water for drinking, but yeah. Oh no, I think we did good. So what do you think about your experiences out here in Quartzsite? It was nice. I enjoyed it. Cool. Well, it's just time to move on. It's it's, start, it's starting to warm up a little bit. It's going to be up in the 80s down here and the lows are going to be in the 40s and 50s so we thought we'd start heading north since we got to pretty well get water and dump anyway so yeah. we thought we'd move north maybe go up to uh lake havasu lake havasu yeah so some people we've seen some videos up there it looks like a nice place and we rode through there one day with shirley following the yellow brick road to yep. go in there and it really looked like it was really a neat little place so we'll go out and walk around up there Got a little more shopping to do and stuff like that. Yeah, hit, Just, hit up Walmart. It's time to leave Quartzsite. There's always a time to get to Quartzsite, and there's always a time to leave. So We've been we're gonna, sitting long enough. We're going to start easing north, and hopefully as soon as the weather warms up where it's 
you know, in the 40s up in Utah and stuff or wherever, we're going to start even going farther north. So, yep. You can see we are uh, rolling up camp. There's Shirley locking up her doors. Shirley's locking up. Deb's getting all her stuff done. Yep. You got the buses over there. With uh, there's the Phoenix Ramblers over there. Um, the Nomadic Ramblers. I mean, I'm sorry. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's all good. But there's always a time to uh, to head out, and today's the day. It is. So we hope you enjoyed our videos here of Quartzsite. We've been uh, in Arizona almost for uh, well, since we, December. Yeah. So we've been in, in out in the desert for almost going on three months, I guess. So uh, we'll continue going to the desert. We're just going to do a change of pace. That's right. But anyway, we appreciate you all watching. Uh, Commenting. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for the thumbs up. And thank you very much for subscribing. And if you haven't, please do. That's right. Because Kim likes to answer your comments. And I like to uh, uh, put out some good videos. So anyway. That's true. Stop the madness. Start the adventure. And here we go. See you all later. Bye.